you want to say anything? This sucks. <laughs> but the trusses are up. That's yeah. exciting. How many are you putting in? Huh? How many are you putting in? Uh, two per stud. So I drill the exact end of the stud. Get your structural screws. It's mostly to be the equivalent of a 3 8 light bolt, but they're only like 8 inch. Uh, I put one row in here already, and these are also nailed to the studs, and then I have already one bolt going through, which is a 6 inch bolt. Then I do a 4 inch bolt in the lower one lower budget board just to give it more strength. Um, I, just have, I just envision this just falling off all the weights and beyond. So these are about 30 bucks a box I think so I'm probably using seven eight dollars worth of screws so it's worth it for peace of mind I guess. And hopefully I won't hear Natalie screaming as the uh, bathtub falls. <laughs> We like the money pit. Yeah. It had the full scaffolding set for a video guy and took it down. We're supposed to be putting the tanks in today. Good, but that's first. You ready? You have a plan? What? What's the plan? Oh, you had a plan. I don't have a plan. I'll wait for your direction. <laughs> Uh, we can take a strap and we'll wrap around and we'll try to pull it from both sides. Sorry, so it's good because we need rain, it's bad because we're not dragging right here. six inches thick with um, welded wire mesh and a rebar going in both directions every two feet. But when it gets up next to the house, it drops down to only about a four inch slab that's sitting on top of the house's foot. So I put my tanks clear out here 
because um, it should be more support on the outside, and then I can put all my equipment on that uh, up against the house wall. And we'll talk about building a mezzanine up here and putting some equipment there if we need to. stop before we got it all the way in. But it goes pretty smooth. We just take a ratchet strap and basically wrap around it and pull it right in. We've seen people in other videos, you know, they're, they're running and they're slamming into it and everything trying to push it along, but just wrap the strap around and dry it looks great. Um, so Nat and I were just talking about how we're going to set it up. So the valve at the bottom, of course, where the water comes out at, I've got to cut a hole in the top and then put in a uh, a fitting for my rainwater just to dump inside and then uh, down here I'll have a T so it'll come off and go the other direction. One way will be for a drain will be a shutoff valve, the other way we'll have a shutoff valve to the system so in case we need to drain the tank and clean it or for whatever reason I can shut off the valve to the system, open the valve and then just drain all the water out and remove it. Uh, I'll probably put a twist disconnect on there also so I don't have to try and unscrew everything. Then both the barrels will have that same system. They'll come connect together and then they'll go to the pump which will probably sit over in this corner and the pump will have a shut off valve as well. Will it be noisy like an RP pump? Um, it'll make some noise but this is, this is outside the house. It's through the garage and everything so they really shouldn't hear it. Yes, but our bedroom is right up there. So if somebody's right. going to the bathroom at night, will we hear it? I uh -huh. okay. have to uh, test it out. Okay. So I can still insulate this room better and there's other things we can do, but... You can always put the, something like a box or something around the pump itself though, couldn't you? Yeah, okay. yeah. So you could take like a, um, I don't know what they call it, the wool insulation, which is great for sound deadening and build a box around it. So okay. So stick it in there, we can do that too. Okay. Um, I have seen people will actually put a well pump inside these. They'll just drag it down from the top and then just pressurize it directly from that. That's an option too. Um, but well pumps use a lot of a lot of power when they kick on. Mm -hmm. So, but with that method, you don't go into the bottom at all. You just basically drop the well pump down inside there, and um, that's pretty much it. You have your outlet coming out straight to your straight to your system to your house. So that's a a possibility. But um, that's the most power we get off the panels first. Okay. Go from there. And we need water. Yeah. <laughs> Been too dry. Yes. We want the ranks has been so dry, but the house isn't dried in yet, meaning that it's not waterproof. I don't even have a roof on it yet, it's not even sheeted. Um, so every time it rains, we get water inside. Um, but it hasn't rained in over a month, except for occasional little spurts here and there. Uh, What's the next step? I don't know. Which is the next step? One. Which is which is the most important next step? We need to get more wood. Huh? We need to get more lumber to yeah. finish the framing on those windows upstairs, right? Yeah, I started framing in the upstairs windows, like a one more window to frame in, and then I got to finish the roof line. And then at that point, I can finish the sheeting, and then after the sheeting, I got to build all the soffits. And after the soffits, I can get the roofers to come out and put the roof on. And then once that's done, then I can put the panels on, and at least have power. And um, once I get to the point where the soffits are done, I'm going to order windows and everything. So by the time the windows get here, um, I'm estimating about a four-week wait for those. Mm -hmm. um, by that time, we should have the solar panels on, 
Um, I can go ahead and get uh, garage doors on, things like that. So, maybe. <laughs> In my mind, it sounds great. It sounds great. We'll get there. It always takes a little longer. We'll get there. It'll be okay. All right. On to the next thing. Yep. Oh, that's my point.